What's up guys, Shane Storms with Droid Modder X. This is the CyanogenMod 12 review for the Verizon HTC One M8. This also covers all other HTC One M8s, uh, but I'm just currently on the Verizon variant. Now so far, this is unofficial. It's not officially supported by CyanogenMod 12. This is January 8th, 2015, and so far it's still unofficial, which means there can be bugs. Now, going by Team Bliss's thread, they haven't found any bugs yet, so everything should be working. Uh, in the beginning, there were many bugs. Now it's more stable. This is more of a daily driver ROM for the HTC One M8. So we'll kind of run through the things that are working. So we know for a fact that Wi-Fi is working, 4G LTE is working, phone calls, text messages, uh, multimedia messages, Bluetooth is working, Wi-Fi tether is working, a camera is working. So all the necessary things that you really need for a daily driver are working. So we'll go ahead and launch the camera app and I'll show you guys that that's working. That's one of the main things when you run a CyanogenMod uh, ROM that's unofficial that tends to not work. And we'll slide over our video camera. You guys can see that it's working just fine. Okay, so really what you get with CyanogenMod 12, you don't get a lot of frills. You just get a really uh, high performing version of Android 5.0.2 Lollipop. Verizon has not updated the M8 officially to since 6.0 Android 5.0. Uh, so this is kind of like an early look at Android 5.0. Now you do have to be rooted, you have to be bootloader unlocked, and I will post a how to install uh, video link in the description. But we'll go ahead and launch the settings. And we'll look at the status bar mods. Like I said, there's not many here. You can turn on brightness control, which allows you to grab the status bar and uh, you can slide back and forth to change the brightness. So there's that, there's the quick pull down. So instead of using two fingers to get your toggles, you can actually just pull down from the right and that pulls down your toggles and, and your notifications all at once, which is very useful. You have the show notification count. So if you have you know five emails or one email, it's gonna tell you how many emails you have when it notifies you of email. You can choose to show weather. So if I pull this back down, uh, you can see that it's 32 degrees in Saraland. I uh, live pretty far south and that's very cold for my region of the world here in lower Alabama. Uh, but anyways, it's really cool to see the temperature right there. So when I was at work today, I actually used that quite a bit and I really do enjoy that feature of signage in Mod 12. You also have battery status style and I prefer text. One thing that's missing here that I wish signage in Mod would incorporate is the center clock. I don't know why, but to me it just makes things look a little less cluttered. And that about wraps it up for the customization options. Now there are some other options such as uh, the reboot menu. Now to enable this you'll need to go into your developer options. So the way that you bring up developer options is just click on the build number several times here and then that'll unlock your developer options. Click on developer options and then click the advanced reboot. So that unlocks the advanced reboot which allows you to reboot directly into recovery. It allows you to do a soft reboot or you can reboot into uh, bootloader mode. Another feature here is root access. We'll go ahead and enable root access. It is disabled by default so it comes rooted but root access is disabled. Now your root permissions are controlled through Privacy Guard. Privacy Guard previously just controlled your app permissions so whenever you go to the Google Play Store you go to download an application it gives you a long list of permissions. Well CyanogenMod 12 said well you know if you are an internet browsing application why do you need to read my contacts and so they said you know they shouldn't get your personal information or shouldn't if it's not necessary you should have the option to not allow that instead of just being forced to allow it whenever you install the app not only does privacy guard manage application permissions it also manages root permissions so we'll go and download on the play store the root checker app real quick and i'll show you what i'm talking about so normally you would need super su uh, or a root permissions application like super su you no longer have a need for that in Cyanogen Mod. So we'll go ahead and open this and we'll verify root. And you guys can see Privacy Guard is asking if I would like to uh, get super user access. I'm gonna remember that and select allow. So I just gave root checker super user access through Privacy Guard. Now we can actually launch our settings and go into Privacy Guard. So go to Privacy and Privacy Guard and then you can actually manage those root permissions from there. So there's no longer a need for a separate app like Super SU, which I thought was pretty awesome. So other than that, you have system profiles in Signage Mod 12. And you guys can see that there are different uh, profiles, profile for 
night so you know you can set up your time from say 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. you don't want any notifications or sounds coming from your phone because you're trying to sleep or say you're at work from 8 to 8 uh, and you just don't want any notifications that could distract you you can set up a profile there for that okay, if we go into our display settings you can turn on adaptive brightness, which is normally available in Android 5.0. I really do like the adaptive brightness and I normally use that on my Nexus 6 because it really does help uh, for when you're out and about. It's better than auto brightness because you can stay at a particular brightness level, but if the light changes at all, it will adapt to that light or it will adapt to that light change. It just seems to be a little more intuitive than standard auto brightness. You also have this rotation option. So you can select 180 degrees, which allows you to turn your phone upside down and it will rotate uh, whichever way you turn your phone. Okay, there is an option here to cast to cast the screen. Okay, under advanced settings, you have a double tap to wake feature, which you can enable and a double tap to sleep. So if you double tap on the status bar, it'll put the phone to sleep, double tap, and it will wake the device, which is really awesome on the HTC One M8 because the power button's way up here. And on this 5-inch display, sometimes that can be a little difficult to get to. Okay, if we go into the buttons, you can actually enable uh, volume wake. So instead of reaching way up here to wake the device, if you don't want to use the double tap feature, you can use the volume buttons to wake the device, which is a whole lot easier and a whole lot more intuitive than having to reach way up top. You can also use your volume buttons as your playback control. So if you're listening to music on maybe play music or any other music application, you're able to skip tracks by long pressing uh, either volume up or volume down. You can also reorient the volume button. So if you have your phone upside down, so you turn on the 180 degree rotation, you can reorient the volume buttons so that when you press volume up, you're actually pressing volume down and vice versa. So another really cool feature in CyanogenMod 12 is the kill all button. So if you launch your recents in a regular Android and Lollipop, you don't have a kill all recents. You actually have to go through and swipe them away one by one, which if you've not done so in two or three days can be very annoying because you may have 100 uh, reoccurring applications here that have to just be swiped away. Here we can just press the uh, clear all recent. So of course you're also gonna get the CyanogenMod 12 Easter egg. So we're going to settings and we scroll down to about phone Click on the CyanogenMod version, that's going to launch the Easter egg. If you press and hold that, that's going to launch the CyanogenMod version of Flappy Bird, which is just as hard as on original Android Lollipop. Okay, other than that, you do get just a crazy fast phone experience. You get custom wallpapers. So you guys can see all of your signage mod walls are here and then of course your signage mod boot animation is also here we'll go ahead and power down the phone or actually we'll go ahead and reboot the phone so you guys can see the signage mod 12 boot animation so guys that is just a quick overview of signage mod 12 uh, nothing too fancy it is just a performance driven uh, lollipop version of android for your hc1 m8 it is not just particularly chock full of customization options like some other ROMs like uh, Paranoid Android for example just kind of gives you those extra little customizations to improve the user experience. That about wraps it up for the Signage Mod 12 review for the HC1 M8. If you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com, follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching, be blessed, I'll see you in the next one.